Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ, and this playoff video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company, the perfect place to cater your team's next event. Well, there's a first time for everything, and from the west side to Riverside, Cabrillo Boys Soccer is at a different poly on Saturday for the Division II semifinals, the first in program history. Local fans may recognize Riverside Poly from our coverage when the Bears beat Long Beach Poly in the second round of these playoffs. But going up against a whole different animal today, Jaguars defense have only allowed 12 goals in 26 games this season. Cabrillo needed to answer two questions early in this one. Can they stop poly playmaker number 10, Gio Martinez? Check. Can they find a game changer of their own? Check. Freshman Enrique Tamoris came off the bench and just got the ball moving faster. 25th minute, Kike, do you love me? Tamoris gets the bounce and a go. But a great save from Vince Reyes. All day, Pauly had the counter punch in them. And two minutes later, the ball into the box. Oh my. That's a let off for Cabrillo and goalkeeper Yancey Monterola. So we're scoreless at the half. Shouts to a strong traveling contingent from Cabrillo, almost as big as the Poly home side and definitely just as loud. They made some noise early in the second when Monterola comes up with a point blank save, but he only needed three stops in this whole game because this Cabrillo defense is that good. The wall, they are fearless, focused, they outthink and outwork their opponents. How about Alexis Torres just destroying it defensive midfield? And then all of a sudden, against the run of play in the 48th minute, Eduardo Mosqueda is gonna go up and over with a seeking ball for Arnold Giron. And although he scuffs the shot, you could feel the whole stadium perk up at the sight, and they would see it again. At the hour mark, Leo Corona comes back into the game fighting hard, and he wins out here. He's going to hit Jerome, who puts three phenomenal touches on the ball. And hey, Arnold, near side slotted to give Cabrillo a 1-0 lead with 20 minutes to play. That crowd wants to see more, and they would. Three minutes later, it's deja vu all over again. Corona squeezes the line up to Jerome, and it's a re re remix for the sophomore brace. Kid is the strongest Arnold this size of Conan the Barbarian. Almost identical plays. The sophomore has just such incredible balance. Now, Pauly would pull one goal back in the 67th minute, but Jerome went right back to work in the 70th. This is 10 minutes after his first goal. Mosqueda's cross into the box, and if you've got a sombrero, throw it in the sky. A hat trick in the semifinals for Jerome. It's incredible to know you're watching history in real time. And I'm thinking of Juju Smith-Schuster for poly football, Casper Ware for Long Beach State basketball. To call them clutch performances doesn't do them justice. Today is a special day in Long Beach sports history because it's winner, winner. Cabrillo is going to a championship game dinner for the first time in school history. Unbelievable stuff from Jerome, a legendary performance from the sophomore. This program's so deserving of this, but I'm just gonna shut up and let you soak it all up. Jags not done. They will play for a plaque next weekend against Arlington. And for all the coverage before, during, and after that championship bout, you keep it right here at the 562.org because we are Long Beach Sports.